Hi there, and welcome to our second episode of Bites with Ben. We've got a fantastic meal in store for you today. We're going to do a very, very simple roast dinner. We've got a chicken here, ready to go. We've got our veg, and we're going to do a couple of side dishes. So some excellent roast potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and a really easy gravy. Welcome to uh, Sammy the Snowman, by the way, our little helper. First guest star on this show. We're going to start with getting the veg ready that's going to bed the chicken. So it's going to sit on the bottom of the roasting tray and it's going to form the basis of a really, really good gravy and a nice sauce. So get off the bits that we're not going to use on the celery. So there we go, there we go. Don't need those bits. And then we're literally just going to go down the middle of the celery. All of this is just for a delicious gravy. Celery, good to go. Let's get rid of these bats off the table. We've got a lovely roasting tray here, and this is where everything's going to go. Excellent. Gets more airflow. Onto the carrots. Uh, we don't need to peel them because we're not actually going to eat them. <laughs> In they go. Oh, that's good. That's also off the table. Right, next, shallots. Just halve them, get them in. And our chicken is going to sit on top of all of this lovely veg. This, off the table, we don't need it. One whole garlic bowl. The whole thing. Just slice the thing in half. Oh, yes. Pop that there. That's going to go inside the chicken. My favourite part. Sorry, it's not a chicken. It's a baby turkey. This is Christmas after all. Lemon. And we actually want to roll it a little bit. It releases the juice. And then we also just want to prick it a little bit as well. And that means that when the lemon cooks, it's going to release all of that juice and it's going to be delicious. Okay, again, set that to the side next to the garlic. That's going inside the bird. Now we've got a lovely bunch of herbs. Oh, that's good. What have we got here? We've got a little bit of sage, a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of thyme. We don't need to do anything with that. We just need to smell it. It's all part of the process. So our veg is ready to go the bed for the bird. Bird comes into view. I'm going to take off the string. I do need my knife. First off is give it a good seasoning. Again, height is everything. Oh yeah. Look at that. A little bit of salt. Actually, I say a little bit of salt. We want quite a lot of salt. Um, this is going to help the skin get nice and crispy. And then we need a little bit of pepper. I said a little bit again. A lot of pepper. There we go. <laughs> uh, we had a little bit of an explosion just a second ago. So we're going to have a few whole peppercorns going on. Completely intentional. You now want to rub your bird. It's about to get a whole lot more serious. And I think this is what it's been looking forward to. Rub the bird, coat it in all that oil and salt in all the cavities, and then we're going in. The lemon fits perfectly. Garlic that we've cut in half, again, shove it in and do not be shy. All of this juice is going to marinate with the meat when it's cooking in the oven and it's going to sit on top of that veg and create the most fantastic gravy. Our herbs, again, shove them in and do not be shy. Get them straight in the cavity. She's nervous. Our bird is ready to go. Get the bird, say one last goodbye. Goodbye. And then get it on the veg. Now finally, before it's ready for the oven, just a little drizzle of olive oil, just around the outside for the veg. A little bit of salt. And she's ready. Now we're going to put this in the oven at 200 degrees centigrade. Importantly though, we've been preheating the oven beforehand as high as it goes. It means that the skin's going to get nice and crisp and this is going to go in for about an hour and a half. But we're going to check it about halfway through, give it a little base, give her a little dress 
make sure she's okay because she's going to a very hot and hostile place. We want to make sure she's happy. Okay, here we go. Chicken, ready to go, sitting on its bed of veg, straight into the oven, which we've whacked up to really, really high. It's gonna sit on the bottom there, nice and cozy. About an hour and a half, 200 degrees centigrade, and that bird's gonna be good. Now we're going on to our potatoes. Now these are the best roast potatoes ever. Lovely Maris Piper potatoes, smoked garlic, which smells like Christmas in a bulb, if you ask me. We've got nice floury potatoes. It means that when they roast and go crispy on the outside, they're gonna be lovely and fluffy on the inside. Sammy, you okay? He's doing good, don't worry about him. We're gonna parboil them for about seven minutes in highly salted water. So once we've steam dried them, toss them in a bit of flour, toss them in a little bit of salt. Then we're gonna put them into really, really hot goose fat. So the goose fat's gonna be melted down in the oven. It's gonna be an absolute delight. Here we go, last potato. Can't see a thing! That'll do. They're off the table. We're just gonna quarter our potatoes, or halve them if they're small. See, this one's quite small. Ah! They're ready for parboiling. We'll be back with you in a minute. We're gonna get started on our Brussels sprouts. So we've got a lovely bowl here of Brussels. Everyone's favorite, or not. So we're gonna be cooking them with a little bit of black garlic, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of black garlic, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of thyme, it's gonna be fantastic. So we're just gonna cut off the ends and then we're gonna peel the outer layer. Lovely like molasses, kind of licorice kind of flavor. And that's what's gonna make our Christmas dinner just a tiny bit different. So choppy choppy, peely peely. Now I'd be interested to our listeners, uh, anyone coming in from Twitter or uh, YouTube, uh, Twitch, Snapchat, we've got anyone following us from uh, TikTok. If you know why Brussels sprouts are called Brussels sprouts, please write in, phone in, email, call. So here we go, chopping off the ends like a bell end. Clear a little bit of space, that's off the table. So just peel the outer layer, good. No, that one missed. Uh, we're gonna halve the Brussels sprouts, so I'm actually gonna go straight in here and get them all back on the table. And we're just gonna halve them, and then we're gonna put them back in the bowl. Lovely. Now they're ready. Leave them there. Let them marinate in the air that is tonight. And now we're gonna get onto this. Black garlic, black as the night. What we're gonna do is mash them up with the thyme. We're gonna go in with the whole clove. Put it straight into the mortar and pestle. That's gonna go in there. A little bit of flourish. Now, time. We always need more of it, right? I feel like we're running out of time. By the time we eat this meal, it's gonna be Christmas 2023. We have our thyme. We have our black garlic. Put thyme in garlic. Smash it. That's pretty much good to go. This is a fantastic mortar and pestle. The Brussels, we're gonna roast for 10 minutes for that stage. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper from the most useless pepper grinder in the world. Mix it all up. Catch that one, trying to get away. Fantastic. Right, that's ready to go in the oven. 10 minutes. A 180 degrees centigrade fan oven. And then after that, we're going to finish them in the pan and we'll see you in the kitchen. There she is. She's been cooking away, basting in her own juices, looking good. Uh, now, proper practice here would dictate that we let her rest. 
put a bit of foil over her just to keep the moisture in. And we're gonna let her rest for 15 minutes because that way the juices are all gonna be absorbed back into our beautiful baby turkey. Baby turkey. So, this is gonna be the base for our beautiful gravy. There's not a lot of moisture in there at the moment, which means we're gonna have to add a little bit of boiling water and then that's gonna go back, straight back into the oven at the same temperature. Meanwhile, I'll have a quick check on our potatoes. Uh, still a little way to go, so give them another turn. This is a true labour of love. Here she goes, okay. We can get started with our Brussels. Um, the Brussels have been roasted with a little bit of olive oil for about 10 minutes at 180 degrees. Oh, there we go, nice and hot. What we're gonna do is get a nice big knob of butter. Very generous. I mean, perhaps even a little bit more generous than that. And that's gonna go in the pan, and we're actually gonna cook the butter for about three minutes. Give it a little. But we are gonna cook the butter until it starts to brown. And that's gonna be obvious, because it's gonna turn brown. Meanwhile, we've got a beautiful black garlic paste with the thyme. It looks like um, someone's just done a really runny dump. It doesn't look pretty, but I'm telling you that is an absolute flavor bomb. Oh, it's hot in here. <laughs> so if we have another look at the butter now, you can see it's starting to foam. So we're gonna go in with the black garlic. <laughs> Sticky. Get the back garlic just sort of swelling around a little bit and then in with the Brussels sprouts. We're looking for about a minute if that, because the Brussels are already cooked. You can eat the Brussels now, that not very pleasant, because we haven't done anything to them yet. Break it up, get it all over it. This isn't your standard Brussels sprouts at Christmas. Most people will make them with bacon or I don't know what else, someone else. But not black garlic, give it a go, it's tasty. And if it's not tasty, we'll retract that statement and issue a full apology. A little bit of seasoning, a bit of salt. And then off the heat. Whilst the pan's still a little bit hot, but as I say, off the heat, just a little bit of lemon juice. Okay, and finally, we didn't think this would be complete without pigs and blankets. Um, we're just gonna get the pan hot again. And we're just gonna cook, cook off these delightfully cute little sausages. Look at them. Oh, that one's been declosed. So here we're just straining off our gravy that we've made from the veg that we had sitting below the chicken. So it's got all that chicken juice in there. Oh. Oh, look at that, I think we're pretty much there. Who's hungry? I haven't eaten for days. There we go. I think we're ready, just about ready to plate up. So here it is. Look at that. Roast potatoes, Brussels sprouts a la Yotam, you're welcome. Little pigs in blankets, some roasted veg, and the best roast chicken you're ever gonna have. I can't wait to get stuck into this. I hope you guys have an incredible Christmas. I hope you've enjoyed watching. All the best.